Well, at that then, of course, there's another major principle in psychosynthesis that anything we're attached to controls mm -hmm. us. Anything mm -hmm. we can disattach or disidentify is better mm -hmm. ourselves mm -hmm. from. We can mm -hmm. we have choices about. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's again about choice. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Mindfulness, moving towards a place of oneness. Um, well, if we all became absolutely back to some totally unified, we're all one. Mm -hmm. There's no choice or one choice or anything. We're just one. Mm -hmm. But but moving towards that place mm -hmm. enables choice. Mm -hmm. Enables us to make choices that are more mm -hmm. more true to ourselves. Yeah. 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 I think there's something that's really interesting. I guess just kind of. I think it was your your word that movement um, uh, is that. There is something about how we work, you know, which is maybe maybe we can come to that place of stillness mm. and oneness and maybe feel that mm. that just feel, mm -hmm. <laughs> just be love or yes. whatever. Um, and yet there's something about how we then arise from that <laughs> and then become the vessel, if you like, the conductor, mm. in, using your mm. imagery um, for the, you know. Uh, and for the orchestra yeah. and um, and I think that's kind of you know the, what you're describing there kind of fits with many kind of spiritual models mm -hmm. doesn't it mm -hmm. you know I know in Buddhism you have the different kayas the different mm -hmm. you know like you have Dharmakaya you know the oneness mm -hmm. and then the Sambhadakaya which is the kind of the subtle energy and then the mm -hmm. Namanakaya which mm -hmm. is the physical yeah. manifestation and there is something in that that kind of feels really important mm. in terms of maybe maybe at what point does the vessel of Jan <laughs> emerge mm -hmm. you know um, the therapist um, you know, but there's something about how we can maybe hold on to that uh, it's not even holding on, this is where like, no, language that, that's goes, language, you know, so, yeah, exactly, yeah, it's like, it's, yeah, you, it's you can't hold on like, to like, it, like, can you? It's just no, there, like, it's yeah, just there, so yeah, maybe yeah. it's the image, yeah, the cloud yeah, or something, yeah, you yeah. know, um, yeah. or the kind of the, 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 the dissolving and arising, or the, you know, where you know, the emptiness is formed, all of those mm -hmm. things, yeah, yeah, no, no, we're, we're completely stuck with, yeah, yeah, like, I, I always yeah. find myself going, La 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 la. No, 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 that's, no, no, that's <laughs> not what I mean. <laughs> yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. Language is um, designed, isn't it, really, to uh, enable, mostly, ordinary language is designed to enable us to function in the dual world. Mm -hmm. So, inevitably, in its ordinary usage, it doesn't, which is where you mentioned Rumi before, or yes. Zen Cohen's, yes. you know, where language yeah. can be used yeah. as well to, yeah. and maybe, um, I, well, I, I, I'm not sure, again, I'm necessarily, in, in, in the context we're saying it now, I'm sort of purposely doing this, but I notice with clients, um, it can, sometimes it just, like water off a duck's back, mm. but sometimes, uh, in certain circumstances, uh, uh, you know, a little Zen story or a, a Mullah Nasruddin mm -hmm. Sufi story will come mm -hmm. to my mind, mm -hmm. and and sometimes I'll keep it to myself, and sometimes mm -hmm. I'll share it, and sometimes mm -hmm. when I share it, but sometimes when I share it, it's exactly what's yeah. needed because yeah. it it yeah. cuts through all yeah. the you know yeah. the crap, and we yeah. get to yeah. Yeah. we get to um, well, I mean, a classic one that comes and, and Mullah Nasruddin story that, that I think is very relevant to this comes to my mind. Is he's travelling in India one day and he's hungry and he buys some fruit on the roadside and a little bit later a friend of his comes along and he sees Mullah sitting there with these green peppers and he's stuffing them in his face and he's sweating because they're hot and peppery and things and he says, Mullah, Mullah, you don't eat those like that, what are you doing? And Mullah Nasrin says, I'm eating my money. <laughs> How often, mm -hmm. you know, do we get caught into mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. place mm -hmm. of... Of, of, of missing the reality yeah. of what's yeah. going on yeah. because we're busily, you know, mm -hmm. and, and that's relevant to therapy, mm -hmm. so relevant mm -hmm. to therapy, I mm -hmm. think, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm earning my £45 an hour or whatever, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's important and that's what we're doing it for yeah. on one level. Yeah. And, and to yeah. pretend, that's another, I mean, not going off on one here, but I mean, I think t t two things that, that are relevant to that in terms of training of therapists is um, is to honour and include the fact that it is a job and yeah. it's about earning money, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. 
um, and, and to pretend otherwise is, 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 is false mm. and unreal. Mm. But also, I find it very difficult with trainings um, that there are so many trainings and so many new counsellors and therapists constantly. Mm. You look at BACP or UKCP mm. lists of new mm. people mm. and there's more every month, you know, mm. there's more and more and more. And the majority of people in train, who train, on whatever level of training mm -hmm. we're talking, do not succeed as practitioners. Mm -hmm. They don't get enough, they don't, maybe don't get any, or they only get one or, a lot of people end up with one or two, and one, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. And um, I suppose if you're running a training, it's very hard to say to new people, you know, who, who want to sign up to your training, this mm -hmm. is eating, eating the peppers again, yes. you know. <laughs> you can't say to them, well, you're probably, after three years or four years mm -hmm. of spending a lot of money with me, you're actually not going to ever get a job out of this. Mm -hmm. How could you say that? And yet, if you don't say something mm -hmm. of that, mm -hmm. or you don't create the right conditions where the people at least have the best shot at mm -hmm. moving forward with it, you know, mm -hmm. um, And, and then, you know, I, I have some students as, as clients that come from trainings and, and you know, in their, in which model we're using in their third year or whatever, you know, they have to have a placement and start working with clients and they find it very hard to get placements mm -hmm. um, because there's so many people needing placements mm -hmm. and, and then maybe, you know, the, the next step comes along and they need, mm -hmm. you know, private clients and they... Mm. Some people do it just great, and some mm. people don't. And maybe that reflects something about yeah. how much yeah. you know what they've connected with, yes. with what yeah. we're talking about. But however you look at it, it's it's shocking to think of people, you know, who who are at that stage in their training, and it's acknowledged it's difficult, but it's never said to them, mm. or it's rarely said to mm. them, you know, actually it needs something else here. Mm. Mm. Going out on the limb.